y'all and welcome to my channel my name is ayana i'm the owner of signed by ayana and today's video is going to be how to make a instagram flyer on canva for free hey y'all so this is the template that we are going to be recreating on canva i created it on adobe which is like 30 dollars per month and i'm going to be using canva which is totally free so first we're going to go to Instagram posts and of course Canva has all these templates but we're going to be using and making our own. So we're going to be recreating this template because I feel like if I show you guys how to do this one and you get this one down pack you'll be able to do the other three. So we're going to go into Canva and we're going to start with the background. So of course you can use any color that you want or a color that is correlation to your brand color but for now I'm just going to use a neutral brown and I like using the color well because it gives me more color options than the basic default colors. So we're going to go in and we're going to do that bottom brown portion so to do that I'm just going to get a square from the element section you could also type it in into the search bar there and I'm gonna make that brown piece darker than the background color so, tonight, you go so now that we have the brown color I'm going to be working on that gold strip that is on top of the brown color so I'm going to frames make sure you're using frames and I'm just getting the solid square one nothing special so now I'm placing the frames down and I'm duplicating it and you'll see why later and then I'm going to be going to positions and putting it backwards so the brown actually shows. Now to get that same gold effect I'm going to Google and I'm just typing in gold glitter background and I'm choosing the first one or choose whichever one you want as long as it's high definition high resolution photo and then what I do I take like a screenshot the photo just because I don't really feel like saving it and doing all that so I just screenshot it now I'm importing that to Canva and as you can see I'm gonna be doing that little gold sliver at the bottom so now I'm dragging it into the frames and it is being added right there. Now I didn't like how the big frame made the gold look a little blurry. So I just made the frame smaller and I just duplicated it just to fill the whole page. So tonight you should go and take a chance where she could be everything you wanted. And once again, I am positioning it the frame backwards so the brown can show. So now it's time to work on that gold frame that is around the square photo so i'm going to go to elements then i'm going to type in square and then multiple different things are going to pop up one of them being a frame so of course you can use any frame you want um like this frame right here you can make it any color you want but um luckily i found a gold frame so if your aesthetic of your business is gold or you need a gold frame for anything canva is definitely the way to go just keep scrolling down but i will show it in this clip right here So now that that's done, we're going to work on the eyebrow spoolie part. So I'm going to go into Google and look up 
and to see if I could find a transparent picture of a spoolie brush which I did I'm gonna have the link to it down below because I did have to go to a whole different website just to find it it wasn't through Google Images so I got y'all the link will be down in the description box down below but the website that I used was Cliff Art Key <laughs> So let's just enter that into Canva, put it to your liking. I put it in the corner, rotate a little bit, and just made it so it was appealing and very cute. So tonight you should go and take a chance where she could be everything you want. Now we're going to do the spoolie and just like, and I'm sorry, not the spoolie, the eyelash curler. And just like for the spoolie, I'm going to see if I could find one, which I did. It was right in Google Images and it was the third image. It was a transparent, so it was super, super, super easy to find. Now we're going to add your Instagram handle and the Instagram logo back to Instagram. I typed in Instagram logo black PNG and it popped right up. So we're just going to add that into your liking, however you want it to be at, lay the size. I just put it how, how I did it on the Adobe Photoshop one, right at the bottom, very small. Now where I put logo, of course, we're going to put your logo there. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I just put a logo there just in case you want to put your logo on the flyer. You'll kind of see what it will look like. Now I'm just going in and adding random words. You could add whatever you want, of course. But as you can see, Canva has a whole bunch of different options of fonts and um, just a whole bunch of different things you can do to fit your aesthetic, to fit your creativity, and to market your brand.
So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Bye, guys.